never pay attention probably to the seal covers that top the manholes down on the street. Never really thought about it, but one man considers them bits of history dropped onto the asphalt. They're also the inspiration for a unique art project, and Tim O'Grady uh, recreates them. So using clay, and he's here to show us a little bit of, of what he's done. Tim, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Hi, Tim. Happy great to, to see here. you. Uh, we got we Cincinnati Magazine did a, a nice little write-up on you, right. and I was so fascinated by your manhole cover art that I was hoping that you would come in. So we're so uh, glad you're here. Well, I am. much and mm -hmm. manhole covers were uh, part of growing up because they represented home plate and second base during oh, stickball games. Right. Oh, wow. cool. yeah. So that was my first awareness but uh, I really didn't get see the art in it until uh, I was in Europe and I saw some manhole covers in Europe and they had beautiful recreations of art and when I returned from Europe I uh, bought some reference materials and started to see what was going on in the US with manhole covers. You, and there are whole books written and with manhole covers and how they're made and their history, right? Yes, there are. Yes, I, there are. And I never, I never thought of one manhole cover being, you know, discernible from another. You know what I mean? I, just, I never, I guess, took the time to look down and, and really see it. I, I kind of focus on the manhole covers from New York because New York probably has as uh, big of a sub structure as they do on a surface mm. sure. with all of the uh, uh, you know the, the subterranean uh, access for whether it be the sewers water gas electric everything is underground what determines the design of a manhole cover is say in New York for a, uti a, util a utilitarian value you just need a cover with a lift hole. Right. Sure. But the artisans uh, during the Industrial Revolution, they brought some really great designs with them. And, you know, I, I'm just fascinated by them. Yeah. And I just have to sit there and recreate them. Cool. Well, what's, what's the reaction been? And not only from the artist community, but just in general when people see your, your artwork, see these manhole covers. Before they see them, they say, why? <laughs> right, like us, <laughs> why? why? Yeah, there you go. Uh, when they see them, they say they are really cool, and unfortunately, a lot of the a lot of the manhole covers that had been produced in the 1800s and 19, early 1900s are being lost. Mm. Okay. So I'm trying to just keep my mind busy and and keep the uh, the art going. And it's kind of a way of preserving the history. So are these yeah. hanging in people's homes? Where where do people have them? A few are hanging in homes yeah. and then uh, I did one special for the city of Loveland and uh, uh, it's hanging in the uh, city manager's office, a couple of restaurants. But really my uh, my goal is I'd love to do an exhibition someplace mm. yeah. and primarily in New York and just so people can understand that there's art on the streets. There's yeah. more going on yeah. than, than what you've ever probably looked down at before. Yeah. If, if people want to see more of your work, though, what's the, what's the best way that they can they can find out about what you've done? Well, uh, uh, my wife and I own a pottery studio in Loveland. It's called Whistle Stop, Whistle Stop Clay Works. And they can go on our website, which is whistlestopclayworks.com. And, uh, we have, uh, have about 40 or 50 of them in the studio there. Well, good luck. I hope Great. you get that exhibition in New York someday, right, Tim. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for having me. All right. It's uh, 8.40.